Hello, my name is Mike Johnson. Take you on an inside outside video tour of this 2019 Thor Ace uh, dual restroom motorhome. So, this actually has two inside showers, two toilets, three sinks inside. So, it's a full two bath motorhome which is pretty rare and this is a pretty short floor plan for having two bathrooms so they really fit everything in there you've got two ACs on the roof and while we're looking at the uh, profiles as you glance at the roof you can see it has two ACs up there those are the hot and it has the higher power quieter 5500 watt generator a lot of these Thor Ace only have a 4,000 watt generator, which is really loud. This is a much quieter generator and more powerful. It produces 5,500 watts. As we come over here to the other side profile, we get everything in alignment here. I'm going to show you the floor plan and specifications. As you can pause the video right here and read the details, watch this on your giant TV in your living room you know that big sony or samsung or lg tv hanging on your wall open up the youtube app and play this video on that tv so you really can see it much better in detail as opposed to looking at it on your phone which is a little tiny screen so here's the floor plan you see how wide it is how tall it is so as we conclude the floor plan layout if you didn't get a good look you can pause it rewind it this is a YouTube video so for 2019 they have this newer more modern look with LED eyebrow lights projector beam headlights that support HID xenon and uh, or LED headlights this has a full wall left side slide out with a three track system there's actually three tracks that provides stability for the slide out uh, it's a heavier duty slide out it's got a lot of uh, expansion to the capacity of what this motorhome can hold inside as far as cargo space and people with room to walk around it's a full wall slide and it has another slide on the passenger side it's got frameless windows backup camera side view cameras see here's your bedroom king bed slide out outside power outlets main patio awning this is a power awning we're going to open that in a minute you've got a little doggy window thor that's a thing thor is known for if you bring your little doggies with you the doggy can lay there and look out the window and watch as things pass by my customers tell me the dogs really like it. It also has an outside entertainment system. This is fiberglass and stickers. So you have an outside entertainment TV. We'll look at that a little bit later. Side view cameras are mounted right here on the rear view mirror. So when you turn on the turn signals, you get the side view camera looking out of the RV. These, it's in broad daylight but these are your led light strips they are on right now they glow at night so people know there's an rv behind them looking cool frameless windows so the window is open here at the bottom they telescope out at the bottom so even if your window's open and it starts raining you don't have to worry about water damage the rain will just drip off up on the roof as we look at the roof here, we have weatherproof vent covers. This has a solar power production facility on top to charge your batteries. So as you're using the RV, the solar is adding to it. Or if you just park it in your storage or in your side yard and don't even plug it in, that solar will charge your batteries and maintain a state of charge. Even if you're using some appliances like refrigerators or something like that, it will, uh, help keep your RV charged up if you have it plugged in in your side yard and uh, 
it'll use less power from your house because that solar does add to the RV instead of your house. So when you do plug it into a house or a campground, it'll use less energy from the shore power because the solar is producing in the sun. It's got a 9,000 or 8,000 pound towing package on the back with a seven pin connector and the four pin connector. This has been registered in California. It's got California registration right now. We can sell it to anyone anywhere in the country. That's not a problem. You let us know. So this is the 32.1 floor plan. Now as I hit the little awning extension switch, I'm extending out the power awning, telescoping it out here. Going out smoothly. This is height adjustable. There's a little adjustment that you can put it higher or lower using these little push pins. You can change the angle of the awning. Sometimes you may want the awning lower if the sun is coming in from the passenger side, but if it's higher, you have more shade if it's coming in from the driver's side. So depending on where your campground is, you could choose to adjust your height of your awning. Now right here near the awning, this is your fresh water quick fill location. You take this cap off, you bring a garden hose over, you fill up your RV's water tank. Generally, you treat your RV water like a foreign country. Don't drink it unless you know what you're doing and you sanitize it first. If you brush your teeth in an RV, use bottled water drink water in RV, drink bottled water, don't drink from the faucet, even if you're at the campground, unless you've sanitized the water system, which is not hard to do. You just have to watch some YouTube videos or read a book, understand it so that there's no live bacteria or anything else in the water system. And that's a regular thing. You add water freshener before you start your trips each year, keep the tanks fresh so you don't have any stagnation going on. So the RV Thor Ace, we're gonna go inside before we do. This one has a Bluetooth sound bar that you can hook up. Instead of an outside stereo, it has an outside stereo sound bar that you can sync up with your phone or connect to the outside TV to broadcast the audio to your patio area. As we go inside, the steps and everything are in good condition. This whole RV is in really good condition. So it's a little bit more rare to find a, a, any kind of motorhome that has two showers. A bath and a half, yes, that's more common. But it's still, not all motorhomes have bath and a half. But this one has a front shower and has a rear master bath with a shower so two showers so you can have two people showering at the same time or one person showering and one person using the restroom with flexibility that's pretty nice feature um and this is not very long of a motorhome it's less than 34 feet long total length with a ladder and everything so for an under 34 foot motorhome with two bathrooms, I don't know of any other motorhome you can get. And you have a king size bed. We have the bunk ladder and the dinette sofa cushion sitting here. They said, Thor says this outlet here, this 12 volt outlet, you can use for a CPAP machine that runs on 12 volts. We have a dream dinette, which goes down like an elevator the table is like a table vader it goes down like an elevator and then you put the cushion in the middle and it's a bed over here you have a jackknife sofa 
which you just lift it up and flip it down and you have a bed in seconds. Now we did reupholster the front seats. The front seats get the most sun. We did them to match with the two-tone colors to match the rest of the RV. So this is a marine grade vinyl. This is more durable than the stuff that they build these RVs with. And up on the front is an electric drop-down bunk. So by the entryway here, you have a key that you can put in to lower your front electric bunk over the front seats. This folds down and then you have a guest sleeping area just like a c-class okay this is a thor ace and the whole name of the ace is supposed to mean a combination of class a and class c in a class c motorhome it's very common to have a bunk over the front seats so when thor ace came out they said we can offer that like a c-class but we can do better by offering the features of an a-class with the features of a C-Class that people like. So that's why you have all Aces have this front bunk up here. And there's a lot of linen storage cabinets in the front here to store your linen. You have the ladder, which I showed in the rear. It clips on, so you have easy access to the front going up the ladder. But it's still, even with the bed down, there's room enough for a little bit of head clearance. Now, I don't recommend driving with the bunk in the down position unless you're really short. Because if you go over like a uh, speed bump or something and you bounce in your seat and hit your head, that's not fun. So I do recommend only driving with this in the up position unless you're really short. It's not impossible but i'm tall 511 i'm not as tall as some but you can uh, definitely drive with it down if you're short but you have to be wary of bouncing your head off of it over bumps so as we walk back and forth through this motorhome you'll notice we have a lot of open floor space here Besides two bathrooms, besides king bed, there's a lot of open floor space. If you felt inclined to put a, for example, a baby crib right there, you could. There's a lot of room to maneuver around. Now, when you're storing a coach like this, you want to always keep the window blinds closed. You don't want the sun coming in and stressing your upholstery if you're not using it. This Thor Ace has fantastic roof vent fan, dual air conditioners. The AC is off right now. The 5500 watt generator has low engine hours and it starts really easy. Start the generator. And then the total hours on the generator are 883 hours. Two to 400 hours is about one oil change uh, as compared with a car on the generator. So if you change your oil every 200 hours, that's diligent maintenance. If you change it every 400 hours, that's okay. But, um, as long as they don't get low, if they do, the generators have a lot of self-protection, so they'll turn off. Now we are plugged in, so we don't need the generator. There is a lot of storage in this motorhome, all over the place. Storage here, storage there, storage everywhere. You have a brand new TV in the bedroom. This is a Vizio Smart TV. There was some artifacts in the original TV. So it has the smart apps, Netflix, Amazon, Prime. 
Disney Plus. So it's a smart TV. So all these little uh, smart TV apps you've got. When you go to the campground and you hook up to the Wi-Fi, then you can stream your entertainment or we get over the air broadcast. Now, right now we're in the middle of a yard. We're not hooked up, but the roof antenna is picking up channels over the air. You get all kinds of channels. That was 4.1, 4.2, 4.3. These are over the air broadcasts. Channel 5, long standing Southern California popular news station. All sorts of channels. With the TVs, all you do is you go in the setup menus and you go channel. That tells how strong our TV signal is from over the air. That's not satellite, that's over the air broadcast like they used to do in the 50s and the 60s and the 70s. You don't need to pay cable or satellite. You go to your camp area. If you connect the cable, then you change the air to cable. But we're on the air broadcast. And then you auto scan the channels and it will start scanning for channels. And it will tell you how many channels it's finding. Now it does have a TV signal amplifier, which is hidden in the cabinet here. This little green LED right there. As long as that's on, you're getting an amplified signal to the TVs. You have to have the little tiny little push button in that cabinet on to turn on the green LED so you can pick up your over-the-air broadcast. See it's going through 24 channels. We'll, we'll check back later. You have a microwave oven. It's been cleaned by a professional housekeeper. You actually have a gas oven in here. A lot of RVs don't have a gas oven. You have a three burner cooktop as well. Stainless steel sink. Some of the ices only have a plastic sink. This one has a stainless steel sink with a pull-out spray rinse wand. Checking on the channels. So far it's found 48 channels. Only halfway done. Usually in my area it picks up like 120 to 150 channels. We have solar up on the roof. When I was showing you outside, I showed you the solar panels. This has the original shower equipment, but as a courtesy, I'm including brand new in the box, two of these oxygen oxygenics shower heads with hoses. So you can have your own shower feature. I like the oxygenics because they use less water. And with a dual restroom motorhome, with two people taking shower at the same time, less water is a good thing and still come out real clean. Look, 140 channels already. And like I said, that's not satellite, that's off the antenna. Now they also sell something like you can order TiVo for over the air broadcast. You can put your TiVo in here and then you'll have DVR capability so you can record your shows and play them back later. So if you're out having fun during the day, record all your shows and come back and watch them later. TiVo, also you could put that in your house and stream it to an iPad as well, if you're into TV. Some people don't care about TVs, but notice that the TV is opposite the sofa. So when you're traveling and if you have some kids with you, they can sit here on the sofa with their video game controls playing TV while you're driving through boring city and nothing to see or driving at night. It's really beneficial. This is a nice setup for the kids that sit here and play video games. Almost done. 151 channels. So all the TVs can pick up all these over-the-air broadcast channels. The RV itself doesn't have DVR recording. Again, if you want a DVR for your RV, I recommend TiVo for either antenna or TiVo for cable, depending on the RVing that you do. And then you can play it back on your TVs. That's something you can look into. Of course, you could put satellite on here. At one point, I think this RV had a satellite up on the roof, uh, but you can also buy a portable dish satellite, which will 
you can move around because if you get a really nice campsite with a tree over it and it blocks your satellite, you won't get satellite anyway. So the over there broadcast is pretty convenient. There is so much storage in this motorhome. You've got little LED reading lights. I should point out that all of the lights in this coach are all LED. These roof area lights, this is all LED lighting. It's very nice, bright lighting. We've gone through, we've cleaned it with a professional housekeeper. We've treated the wood with a wood oil so that it looks nice and it lasts a long time. We didn't find any critters or bugs in here. It's in really nice condition. You have some brand new bedding materials and stuff like that. Behind this TV is storage. This little red handle is for an emergency escape window in case somebody in your kitchen is doing something dumb and causes a fire, you could go out this way. This is a USB charging center. So you can plug your USB ports there and charge. You've got light switches. This is the bedroom air. You have 110 volt outlets. You have more LED lights, lights everywhere. Lights here, lights there, lights everywhere. And you have these little wall switches. So when the short ones in your family, like kids, need to turn a light on and off, they can access the light switches. On some of the RVs, you have to be able to reach the ceiling. And if you're older or you're younger, sometimes that can be more difficult. Let's go for a quick test drive. So we're test driving the Thor Ace 2019 dual restroom motorhome. Excellent visibility out the driver's cab because this is a class A motorhome it's on a Ford F53 chassis and it has a uh, tight turning radius as I look in my mirror I can see right down the side of the motorhome navigating the roads of the country is easy Currently it has 30,000 miles on it. We have the backup camera displaying. The Thor A has an electric bunk built into the front and it has a little bit lower profile window than a lot of A classes. So you're a little better protected from the sun and getting sunburn on your RV trips because the window is a little bit more low profile your visibility is still excellent but you don't have all that extra glass letting light to mess up your interior upholstery and scorch you with sunburn on your RV trips so driving in the little neighborhood with the Thor Ace maneuvering through residential this has a super smooth ride compared with others. This is a little bit heavier motorhome because it's a dual restroom with two slide outs. It's on a little bit heavier duty chassis. These can have as light as a 16,000 pound gross vehicle weight. But this one, if we look on the label, gross vehicle weight rating is 20,000 500 pounds. This is a little bit heavier duty uh, chassis. You still only need a car driver's license to operate it. But the extra weight capacity of the chassis is better for towing trailers, better for high speed stability and wind, and better for a smoother ride. So this is a smooth riding motorhome. We've got our backup camera, so we can see what's behind us, like a rear view mirror function. But when we turn on the right turn signal, we get the right side view camera. And of course, we also have the mirrors over there. We're looking right down the side of the motorhome. That's a real advantage of an A-class motorhome is you can see right down the side. 
and see what's going on. Looking right down the side, if we drive in our lane here, we can judge our lane position looking at the mirror. And again, remember, if you're looking on a giant TV, you can see better. You can see your lane position on the backup camera. You can easily get used to driving an A-Class motorhome. It's much easier than pulling a big old trailer that bends in the middle because try to back up a trailer, everything is reversed. I'm gonna give you a backup de camera demonstration. We're gonna back down this cul-de-sac here. So with it in reverse, we have excellent visibility from the mirrors and from the camera. Clear view to drive backwards right down the cul-de-sac. Now you gotta check your surroundings, know who's where, but we're using the backup camera to back up right down the cul-de-sac. Super simple to drive. This is a 32 foot, so it's not too long. If you're trying to get some harder to get beachfront campgrounds on a holiday weekend, you can still do it with a uh, 32 footer. So once you start going 35, 36, 37, it can, you, when you call up the campground, most weekends, they might not be too crowded, but if it's a busy 4th of July weekend that you reserve it in advance, they might have 50 spaces under 34 feet. But above 34 feet, they may only have 10 spaces. So it makes a difference having a little bit shorter floor plan to find those parking spaces. We're just maneuvering around this neighborhood here. These houses have RV parking capability. You can pull this right into your yard and park it. So hopefully you enjoyed your little test drive there as we walking around in the motorhome. This has a absorption RV refrigerator which is clean and good condition. We tested it, it works fine. You just push the button, it comes on, it has a digital readout to tell you how the cool setting is, if it's on electricity or propane. Right now it's trying to cool on electricity. I can hear the generator loading up. Push the button, turn it off. I'm gonna stop the generator because we don't need the generator right now. So we have solar, which right now is charging. It shows it's 13.8 volts on the battery. And the displays are tricking through. Twenty three point four kilowatt hours of battery charging going on right now. We are plugged in. There is a little switch right here. If you need to turn off the solar for uh, for storage, you have an off switch to turn off the solar. Or you can turn it back on and it comes back on. So it's actually charging at 9.4 amps right now. It's a cloudy day but the solar is charging at 9.4 amps. Now, even though we're plugged in on electricity from land power, instead of taking the 9.4 amps from the plug power, we're taking it from solar. The solar is reducing the amount of plugged in power that we need. 
These are your circuit breaker panels. And in here are your fuse panels with even some spare fuses. But we're not having any problems, so hopefully you won't have to mess with that. But you never know. You will plug in and you could have the need for knowing where that is. Ceiling is in excellent condition. There are no leaks. We've gone through and we've serviced the roof to make sure that the seals will hold up for a, lot, a long time. And then over the vents, we have weatherproof vent covers. So for example, if I go in the bathroom and I open my vent, we have a weatherproof cover. This is a big issue. I showed this on the outside. If you close your vent and park your RV and you don't have protective covers and the sun and the wind come along and rattle your vent, they can open by themselves. But with weatherproof vent covers, even if they open them by yourself, by themselves, water is not going to come in and cause damage to your RV. It's extra protection so that you don't have problems in the future. You have sliding pocket doors. Now to unlock the pocket door, you release that and then slide it across. Now you have some privacy in the bedroom area. Close this back up. Another one here for the bathroom. So when somebody's taking a shower or doing some other business in the restroom, they can have some privacy. Same thing for the rear bathroom. Privacy sliding doors. And all of these secure into position so they don't slide around when you're driving. This is a nice design to lock it into place. Now next to the refrigerator we have a dry food pantry so you can put your bags of chips and your loaves of breads, your bags of rice or whatever, cans of beans in the dry goods pantry. I have additional pantry area up here. For some reason he has a shelf in there at an angle but the shelf is adjustable. You can put it at an angle like he had, my assistant has it, or you can put it level, which I prefer. And then you just push these little tabs and you adjust the shelf to the position and elevation that you want. Let's put that bed up. We're going to raise it up. Demonstrate that it goes up, no problem. It has linear actuators that pull it into the up position and then it has uh, neodymium magnets in the ceiling to hold it from rattling when you're driving so that you don't get squeaks and rattles when you drive. So it's all the way up but then you have to push it up a little bit more so the magnets are in contact and that prevents it from rattling around and this is in driving condition notice the big mirror that you can keep your eye on your passengers from the driver's seat um, people have a conversation mirror up there to use to look around when you're traveling now with an a-class motorhome you get a lot of storage there's big deep roller drawers you can pull out to put all your stuff in there. They're secured with clips like these. We had to change some of the clips, but these drawers give you a nice place to store your stuff. When we were outside, we were pointing out the little doggy window. There is a little doggy window right there. And it has a kibble station, but this kibble station is missing the little kibble trays. You can order new ones from Thor if you want they may not have any pets in here so they use this for drawer storage there is a kibble tray for uh, water and food bowl to go in here but it looks like they said oh we don't have a dog with us so or no cats no dogs so they took it out they did not include it bathroom one 
Bathroom two. Dual restrooms. And the RV is completely self-contained. If you haven't had an RV before, it has a level gauges. It's you got onboard propane. We got two thirds of a tank right now. Battery level check, fresh water. We have a half a tank. Black tank, which is basically empty. Gray tank, another gray tank, another black tank. So each bathroom has its own black and its own gray tank. So if you accidentally f overfill one of the tanks and there's no more room before you go to a dumping area, that's okay. Most campsites have the dump port right there. But if you do what they call dry camping, which if you go someplace remote where there's no hookups, like in the middle of the desert, then you can hold in your holding tanks quite a lot of water. When I showed you the floor plan at the beginning of the video, it shows the water capacities for fresh, black, and gray. But you can hold your own onboard water and dump it at a convenient time and place. Uh, so you can continue to use your toilets in your shower so the kitchen cooktop is easy to light you just turn it to light make a spark and then your burner lights up that one so here on video i verified they all work and you just turn them off when not in use for ventilation when you're cooking the best way to do it is open this window near the cooking area and then turn on the area fan to exhaust this whole cooking area. That's the recommended way to do it. This is a heat shield. There is a light up here. With a little switch to turn on the under cabinet lighting. Notice that you have a glass backsplash behind your cooking area. This is a super easy to clean actual tile backsplash. Some of the older Thors only put some wallpaper in the cooking area, but this is an actual uh, glass backsplash. So it makes it much easier to clean up after you cook. We're going to point out the cup holders. This is a nice fancy little tumbler cup and it fits in the cup holders. As you browse around to different RVs, you're going to find some where they don't fit right in there. They'll wobble around like so and they just don't fit. But the cup holder holds the big tumbler cups and this one. There's more cup holders behind the sofa, which if this is in the up position it fits as well so full-size cup holders look here's some on the table deep enough to support your cups it's a little wobbly in this position but they're not going to tip over when you go around a corner or go up a hill which is which is what really matters King size bed, do two full restrooms, so two toilets, two showers. There's an outside shower too, so maybe you could say three showers, but that's for washing your feet and stuff when you go to the beach or hose off if you're dirt bike riding. Three sinks, very usable motorhome. Thor Ace 32.1. So this Thor Ace 2 restroom motorhome, before we wrap up, people like to see what it looks like with the slides closed. So I have room to put it, uh, to walk all the way to the driver's seat or the passenger seat. We have the table in our position here. We have this dinette turned into a bed right now. The sofa is in the sofa position. I can walk to the queen, I'm sorry, the king bed. Now, I don't recommend trying to sleep on the king bed with a slide closed because this has a cantilever. 
So you might put unintended strain on the bed frame, but it is still reinforced. I still don't recommend it because you don't want to break it. But if the bed is, if you wanted to extend the bedroom slide only, for example, you're parked next to your house and you have limited space and I extend the bedroom slide right now with it closed and in travel position you cannot walk to the rear restroom but you can certainly access the front restroom so if you had to push came to shove and you were using this as a guest house on the holidays when the family visits then or if you tell your kids here that's your uh fort go go sleep in there so that grandma can sleep in your bed stuff like that with the slide one slide open you can get all the way from the front to the back now this full wall slide is still closed but we can access the entire motorhome by only opening one slide also if you were parked next to a curb, this slide out would hang over the curb. So if you were going to do something like that, you could put some cones underneath. So pedestrians walking by wouldn't crash into the slide out and get hurt. I'm not expecting it to hang over their path, but it could be done. So you can use this entire motorhome with only one slide open and walk from front to back. But when you open both slides, like at the campsite, appropriate campsite, you have a lot of room to walk around. If you have a lot of people sleeping and you need to use the dinette to sleep instead of have it in have breakfast configuration, you still have a front table that fits between the, the seats here. So two people could have breakfast here at the table and uh, enjoy their breakfast without turning the dinette back into a dinette. Um, you can drive it with the table in this position. You can also rotate the table for a little bit more room. If you're going to leave the table in that position when you're driving, then you want to swivel the seats to get into the front, which you can do. There's a lever under the seat. Once you release it, you can pivot the seat and you can get up without removing the table from the front seat. There is a place to store the table in the back, but um, in the cabinet. But this is with the table installed. So let's take a look inside the cargo storage compartments. This front one here has your batteries for the house and your hydraulic leveling system there. It's like an electrical room. This is, all the compartments are lighted. This one is passed through to the other side. As you see, it goes, you could put long items like fishing poles passing through. That's your outside TV entertainment system. Again, we're picking up over 150 channels right here in the middle of a parking lot. Although it is dark, it's hard for the camera to pick up the screen in broad daylight. Uh, this is another compartment. It's split between two. It does have pass through the other side. You have lights in every compartment. And again, pass through for longer items, maybe folding tables and things like that. This one here is also storage for a storage cubby. These are much larger than on like a C-class motorhome. Here's your onboard propane. Easy to get propane when you stop at a campground. Most campgrounds have propane or you can go to like a Near my house, we have a liquor store that has propane outside, and there's gas stations that have propane. We even have a dedicated propane seller. That's your 8,000 pound rated tow hitch with a seven pin connector. It also has a four pin connector as well. So two different uh, connection types. Over here is our black and gray tank for the rear restroom and, and sink area. Again, there's a front black and grays. These have a sandy flush which is like a sprinkler to rinse it out. That's the larger, quieter 5500 watt generator. This generator is actually much quieter than the 4000 watt version of the generator. And it's more powerful. That's your 50 amp power cord for your shore power cable to connect and prevent entry of critters when it's plugged in. 
the opposite side of a pastor's torch. And this is your front black and gray holding tanks, sandy flush, and an outside shower faucet connection so you can hook up a garden hose or an outside shower hose right to the faucet right there. There's a brand new sewer hoses in the U-Haul box, never used, and here's the existing sewer hoses. There's even a Y adapter so you can hook both tanks to dump at the same time. Now, this is your water heater. This has a larger 10 gallon water heater. Most motorhomes only have a six gallon water heater, but because this has a dual restrooms, they're giving you the larger 10 gallon water heater. So two people could take a shower at the same time and not run out of hot water. It's also got quick recovery and it heats with electric or propane. Underneath, we're looking at the catalytic converter, the exhaust system, the leveling jacks, the bottom of the engine. There are no oil leaks. There are no fluid leaks. Everything is sealed up tight. It's not even very dirty underneath here. That's your radiator, your suspension, your steering. Everything looks good. The widget washer fluid, your tire tread. You have a lot of tire tread. These tires, these are 14 ply tires a lot of times and they'll last easily up to 10 years not like trailer tires trailer tires may last four years but motorhome tires are like truck tires and they can last 10 or even 15 years if you maintain them properly that's your 80 gallon fuel tank uh your generator from underneath generator exhaust going out the back so you don't get carbon monoxide at your campsite and got a long detour out the back to route the uh, generator exhaust out. Another look at the 80 gallon fuel tank. So you have long range with your fuel and the generator runs out of gas at about a quarter tank. So when, once you have down to 60 gallons used, the generator will run out of gas first. Oh look, on the tire there are some valve stem extenders so you can check your tire pressures very easily. That's your drive line, your power step, and that was underneath the RV. We're going up and taking a second look at the roof. Remember this has a solar power generator on top so that your batteries will be maintained. You have power awning, you have awnings over the slide out, you have two roof ACs. A lot of the Thor Ace only have one with a smaller 4000 watt generator, but this has two ACs and all four of the roof vents have weatherproof vent covers to prevent water intrusion you have a digital over-the-air tv antenna to bring in the powerful uh, over-the-air broadcast stations you have a skylight over the front restroom and you have a skylight over the rear restroom you have a roof access ladder and those other little plastic things are your sewage vent pipes to vent uh, your waste tanks to the atmosphere uh, that's part of standard plumbing and closer look at the solar. That's a brand new installed uh, 200 watt panel. So my name is Mike Johnson. Thank you for watching my video tour. Go to my website, mybestcar.com. Check if this RV is still available. And also the pricing and the videos are posted on the website. Thank you for watching.